I knew a guy in high school, let's call him Brad. Every time Brad would walk into a cafeteria, he'd say, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, they weren't. Then Brad would order about 3,000 calories of food and shovel them in. He acted like he had no clue how much he was eating or its repercussions. Well, now Brad's calories, he can keep track by taking a food picture on an app. And let's be clear, Brad just had regular sized eyes, not those Steve Buscemi peepers. What if you could know all the nutritional information about each dish you eat by simply taking a picture of it? As students, this team of engineers decided to create exactly that when they developed the Food Visor app. Inventor Charles Boas explained it all to me from Paris. Hi, Charles, and welcome to Innovation Nation. Hello, Mo. Thanks for having me. What motivated the idea for it? Food is at the very center of our lives. It's something that we eat every day. Uh, and we really believe that uh, cutting edge technology has the power to change daily habits, daily things in our lives. And food was like the perfect example for us. Charles and his team got to work developing a food diary but not just any old food diary. How does it know how many calories certain foods have? The app is based on deep learning, which is a branch of artificial intelligence. So what deep learning does is mimicking what's happening in our brain. Basically what we do is show hundreds of millions of images to our algorithm, and it's able to understand what a banana is, what a carrot is. Then based on that, we are able to evaluate the size of the carrots based on the distance between the phone and the plate. And we can calculate the volume and the quantity. This data is then used to calculate nutritional information, all by taking a picture of your food. Plus, if your food has seasonings, dressings, or other toppings not recognized by the app, they can be added manually. Creating a pathway for healthier living with just the tap of your smartphone. Thank you, Charles, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mo.